What's up fellow traveler, Adam here with PTSD and depression.com. This video is on the meditation aspect of art therapy. There are some really easy, simple things you can do to help your anxiety and calm your mind just by using a pencil, a pen, or what I love using is a pen brush. Now I do have affiliate links in the description if you want to purchase one of these pens. I will get a little teeny tiny bit of a commission and that helps me create more videos and do more writing and get more excited and want to help more people. So it's, it's a really simple thing that can help uh, make you feel better. One of them is just making scrolls like this one. All I'm doing is just going in a circle back and forth. After a while, you start feeling the different pressure. Right. The whole point is you're not trying to make anything pretty. You're just doing stuff. You're more focused on the glide of the pen and how it's moving and all this stuff and how you're breathing. Now, when you're doing this, you may find that you're actually holding your breath. And that self-awareness is kind of the whole point. You want to force yourself to start breathing and realize that you're not breathing. When I first started drawing, one of the first things I realized is just how stiff and rigid my my mind and my body was. I could not uh, get any fluid movement in my hands whatsoever, which translated from my mind. You know, the mind and the body are connected in ways that until you get through and reconnect them, you really will not understand. But um, this is one of the ways that I was able to reconnect with my body, and I hope that it's going to help you guys as well. So this is just a super simple exercise. There's hardly anything to it. You're literally just making stuff, and you don't even think about it. You just let your hand go and see what happens, and you'll be amazed at the things that you might start seeing or you might start doing. Um, creativity in general is amazing for PTSD, for depression and anxiety because it, like I said before, it pulls you into now and gets your head out of the past, out of the future. And I highly recommend it. Now, as I said before, I am going to be writing an entire article about art therapy on my blog at ptsdanddepression.com and you will get more in-depth information on why I enjoy it so much as well as uh, uh, better pictures of the things that I like to draw and whatnot. So thanks so much for watching. I hope everybody is doing well. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, you just want to talk, you need someone to respond to your messages, I am here for you. Thank you so much for watching. This is Adam with PTSD and Depression, and I'm out.